With a deep sea oil release, such as the Deepwater Horizon incident, the same physical and chemical processes influence the environmental fate of the oil, but with different degrees of significance compared with a surface release. Oil released under pressure at the sea floor will rise due to the buoyancy of the oil. The oil rises and the droplets that reach the surface coalesce to form an oil slick. The lighter and gaseous components may dissolve into the water column. Larger droplets rise through the water column more quickly, whilst the very smallest oil droplets may be neutrally buoyant and remain in the water column. Currents mix and carry these droplets through the water column, meaning the oil is more spread out and broken up when it finally does surface. These processes mean that the oil will reach the surface in a more weathered state. The more weathered the oil is, the greater the challenge this poses to responders. To address some of these challenges, new methods for injecting dispersants directly into the subsea release have been developed. With subsea injection of dispersants, we can greatly increase the percentage of oil that is entrained in the water column as small droplets, preventing the formation of large surface slicks.